Hey guys, what's going on? Savant Zayev Sylvester reports, and it is so good to see you guys here. Guys, let's talk. We are talking about Doc Rivers signing a five-year deal with the Philadelphia 76ers, which I believe is a great move. Now, Mike D'Antoni was the front runner uh, ahead of Ty Lue at the beginning, but after Doc Rivers was kind of fired out of nowhere, he interviewed uh, Thursday and got the job today. So... Congratulations to Doc Rivers. Um, now, when we look at Doc Rivers' resume, right, he's a winner, he's a motivational coach. I believe if anybody is gonna bring the best out of Ben Simmons and give him the confidence to shoot the ball without these issues, it's gonna be Doc Rivers. If anybody is gonna bring the best out of Joel and B to help him stop eating Big Macs before the game and prioritizing healthy eating and getting him to be the best of version of himself, it's gonna be Doc Rivers. So I think that this is the right move. Their roster needs a big major time sweep because this isn't gonna be an overnight thing where Ben Simmons decides, hey, I'm gonna start shooting, right? I think this is gonna be a year or two uh, down the line thing. So look, they have a lot of moves that they have to make because Ben Simmons isn't gonna shoot. They need to get some shooters. They gotta hope that maybe Tobias Harris plays a little bit more to his contract as well. Uh, and that's where I ultimately think um, that these guys will thrive. Uh, Doc Rivers is a winner. Like I said before, he won with the Boston Celtics. He had some good regular season run with the Clippers. Ultimately, um, with the hype and everything that was built around the Clippers, somebody had to lose their job. It was either going to be Paul George in a trade or it was going to be Doc Rivers. And ultimately, usually, management always sides with the players. So Doc Rivers did lose his job. There were a few reports saying that Clippers, I'm not sure if it was brass or players, were actually mad that Montrez Harrell was getting some time over Zupac and in the Denver series, and maybe that's for good reason, right? Jokic, Jokic did some very bad things to Montrezl Harrell, right? So um, let's not say that that is completely wrong, uh, but that is some of the speculation that's going around. Um, obviously, we will never know who exactly would say that, uh, but that was sort of what was circulating. So guys, that's my that's my thoughts, right? I think that this is a great move for the Philadelphia 76ers. Like I said before, Doc Rivers is a motivational coach. If he is going to bring the best out of Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, um, and ultimately that's what I think. So guys, how do you feel ultimately about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Share this with your friends, guys. Um, might live stream tomorrow, might not. It really depends. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. You can also follow me on IG and or Twitter. I will be talking there. Maybe I'll live stream on Instagram. I feel like everybody kind of has Instagram. It might be a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, uh, click the bell as well to get notified when I upload. And yeah, guys, tomorrow, uh, game two, we'll talk about that then. And I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Hey, Doc. Um this team uh, never was able to reach its full potential. How good did you think this team could have been? And um, did the expectations, were they ever too heavy for this team? No, uh, we didn't meet them. Uh, that's the bottom line. Uh, I'm the coach, and, and I'll take any blame uh, for it. But we didn't meet our expectations, uh, clearly. Uh, because we had, uh, in my opinion, we, we'd still be playing. 